Want some help with that? No need. I've got this. Target neutralized. Hi hey everyone, it's Jane with Outside Xbox. Today I'm going to show you Splinter Cell Blacklist's co-op mode. In Blacklist you play co-op in purpose-built side missions given you by Grimm, for instance, as we see here. But if they even hear a whisper that you're there, they'll wipe everything. Or Briggs, as we see here. There are three key points inside where the data cables are accessible. Briggs is the new guy, Sam Fisher's protege, and a former agent of the CIA. He's also the guy who you will be playing with in co-op if you don't get to be Sam himself. They look promising. Go for it. Let's move before someone spots us. In this first mission called Hacker's Den, Grimm wants you to secretly hack three computers. If you're detected, however, it's game over. Literally, and the mission fails, so no getting into firefights. Let's go for a walk. Here's Sam and Briggs doing another synchronized stealth takedown. And there's Sam lobbing a noisemaker to send the guard the other way. Grimm's co-op missions demand stealth, and with the insta-fail and mission restart upon one of you being detected, be prepared for them to end friendships. But they're not the only kind of co-op mission. Moving now. Copy. This second mission set in India, called Missile Plant, is one of Briggs's missions, which comes with a mix of stealth and shooty action. Notice here you can always see your co-op partner as a white silhouette. And here comes the shooty bit. Inside. Let's go. Got it. Oh, perfect. This bit comes late in the mission when you and Briggs go loud, as they say. And here you also see the other white silhouette, that's your last known position marker, returning from the previous game, Splinter Cell Conviction. And as Sam and Briggs leg it out of the missile bay, that's it for a first quick look at Splinter Cell Blacklist's co-op mode. Catch you next time.